Let's solve this radical equation. First, let's subtract 3 from both sides. Now let's square both sides to clear the radical. n minus 3 squared is n squared. Minus 3n minus 3n is minus 6n. Plus minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9. Now let's subtract 2n from both sides and subtract 29 from both sides. You get n squared minus 8n minus 20 is equal to 0. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. Let's factor this expression. Minus 20 you can break down as minus 10 times 2. Minus 10 plus 2 is minus 8. Minus 10 times 2 is minus 20. So n is equal to 10 and n is equal to minus 2. But remember, with radical equations, you have to check your answers. Even if you didn't make a mistake, you could still have extraneous solutions. So let's check n is equal to 10. So 10 is a solution. Now let's check n is equal to minus 2. So n is equal to minus 2 is not a solution. The only solution is n is equal to 10.